Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vim PF, and on today's episode, we've got the Maker's Mark Cask Strength. I actually did cover the standard Maker's Mark way back when, when I did a series on American whiskey, so I'll pop the links to the series just up here, and then shortly after, I'll put a link to the specific one if you want to go and check out my review of the standard Maker's Mark. This is the cast strength, and in fact, this specific one is the 111.5 proof, so the 55.8% ABV. This was a sample given to me by my good friend Gus, thank you very much. And uh, it's really quite expensive, it's about £80 in the UK, unless you go to an airport and you can get it for nearly half that price. So the big question is whether it's worth the 40 or the 80 but we'll get into that when we get into the nose. It's a wheated bourbon, so it's got its minimum of 51% corn. In fact, it's, I think it's 70% corn. And then the rest is made up of 16% wheat and 14% malted barley. Uh, another interesting fact about Maker's Mark is they're one of the few American whiskies that um, doesn't use the E in whiskey. Check it out on the label. But let's get into it and see where we're at. Now, on the nose, the kind of massive ABV isn't totally prevalent, but it's it's got lots of dark, dark fruits, kind of cherries, obviously massive oak influence, some vanilla notes in there as well, standard kind of bourbon-y smells. Oddly, I get a little bit of cola on this as well, which is strange, and a very, very, very faint whiff of marzipan. Let's try a little bit. Wow, I mean, that's where the ABV is right there. 55.8, not to be sniffed at. That is a, a good, strong amount of ethanol. And it's got huge amounts of spices on the tongue. Stuff like anise, cardamom, that sort of thing. More of the cherries on the, on the palate as well. I think this is um, aged around six years, but it's not to be messed with. This isn't like your uh, your midweek drinking, that's for sure. Which uh, sadly, I have to do for the uh, for the channel. Such a shame. But yeah, I really like it. I mean, car strength anything is a winner for me, especially car strength bourbon. For me, I mean, it's an absolute no-brainer at forty pounds in the UK if you get it in the uh, in airports and things like that. Unfortunately, not a liter. Shame. But outside of the airports, when you're paying eighty pounds for this sort of thing, for me, that's that's a leave it. I think I, as much as I think it's good for eighty pounds, I could get some some really 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 good whiskey. And although this is really really good, it's not really 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 good if you get my drift. So save it for the airports. But you know, if you're a Mister Moneybags or a Mrs Moneybags, feel free to spend the eighty. Oof more cast strength. Let's do it. Then the rest is made up of 17%, I think, 